Uh, obviously, good game for the fans. Exciting game. Uh, you know, you never want to squander a two-goal lead. Uh, you know, but we knew there were dangerous on set pieces. Uh, we lost our mark on the first one, and uh, obviously Michelle hits a great ball on the second, and Michael got tied up. But uh, the timeliness of our third goal was really vital, and uh, it was a good goal by Eddie. And then we continued to uh, to get opportunities. The red card, you know, I, I think was justified. I mean, if you saw Leo's eye, uh, you would know it's justified. And uh, you know, now it's a now it's just a situation of uh, us continuing to do what we've been doing, you know, over the last few games and to carry it forward. But uh, you know, the guys know what they have to do. They know how to have how they have to play now to win games. Yeah, no, it's definitely we want to win our games at home. That's that's super important. Being able to measure ourselves against the first place team in our conference uh, is important. Uh, being able to show that once our weapons are healthy, that we can score goals on the offensive end was another important factor uh, as well. But uh, you know, we've, you know, we're, we're we're trying to use the abilities of the guys we have. We're using our speed. We're, so at times we're a little more direct, but we also knew this was a team that we could be direct against, that we could get behind them centrally, and we did that. Often in the first half, we had, when we had a couple of opportunities to get more goals, they had some opportunities as well off their set pieces. Do you know how long uh, Ozzy might be? Don't really know. It's a left adductor strain. Uh, you know, we'll just have to see. You know, right after the game, you can't tell. It's usually a day or two later that you can assess it and and determine how long how long it would be. I don't know, don't know. They're stitching him up right now. They're still stitching him up. It was pretty, the reason we made the sub was, you know, Leo wanted to go back in, but there, I knew there was a lot of aerial duels. And so we thought it was a good thing to bring in Zach, you know, for that. And with Leo, the cut was pretty, pretty deep and it was right in the eyelid, right above the eye. That was the reason for Zach instead of Mark Birch. That was the reason for Zach instead of Mark Birch. We just felt that the nature of the game and that they would continue to try and uh, prod us with, with set pieces that uh, Zach would be a better alternative than Birch. Yeah, how do you think um, Martinez and Joseph did with a lot of first time they had got late in minutes in the wild? Uh, well, well, both of them didn't get uh, 90. You know, right. Martinez got subbed out and when we subbed Joseph on. But, uh, you know, I thought Martinez played well. You know, uh, you know we made the change there. Uh, just because, again, we felt we needed to get a little bit bigger on the field because that was their major danger. Uh, and so when we brought in Obafemi, we decided to move Lamar into midfield and Shalri. It was tough for Shalri to go into the game because he really didn't get to warm up or anything, you know, and he had to get right into the game, you know, as a replacement for uh, for Ozzy. So to find the game, because he's an experienced player, he was able to find the game pretty quickly. How would you feel about Lamar in the midfield? He's, he's done well wherever we put him. I mean, you know, the goal, uh, the last goal we got, the Obafemi goal, I mean, the ball he crosses into Eddie Johnson is is tremendous. Uh, you know, and Eddie's unlucky with the header. Uh, so, uh, you know, I mean, he's shown, I mean, he's obviously played on the left flank for us before. That's where he's done it. But he's he's done well for us up front. And as the season goes on, you know, we know there's times where we're going to miss Eddie and so forth. So he's he's definitely, you know, a, a major alternative for us up front. Eight goals in I, I, would, I wish I could say I was uh, Nostradamus and I could have predicted that. Uh, but, uh, you know, hindsight, yeah, I saw it coming. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back at your kind of good run after the slow start, was there any galvanizing moment or one or two things that kind of was just gradual getting better and getting healthier and all that? Uh, you know, I mean, uh, like I said, you know, last week, I mean, the guys never lost faith in themselves. And, you know, I know we... Uh, I thought the first half in Salt Lake, we played badly. Up until then, I thought we'd been maybe a little bit unlucky, but the first half in Salt Lake, we played badly. And uh, that was something we definitely impressed upon, and we came out the second half in Salt Lake and, and won that half, you know, and played much better. And from there on out, you know, we stuck to it, and we said, you know, you can't forget that work is part of what it is, unfortunately. That, you know, that's part of the game. You've got to be able to work. And, and the guys have put in the work. The guys who have believed in themselves. The competition level with guys getting healthy has made, has made for more competition at training. So everybody's game has increased as a result of that. And, uh, 
and they understand uh, better now how to use the strengths of, of the players that we have, the abilities of the players that we have, which until you get them out there in the field and you actually do it in games, you know, no matter how much you do it on the training ground, it doesn't come across until you start playing games. You know, it's two games, and these two games, it's been the best. Uh, but certainly, I think, uh, you know, with the emergence of Lamar right now, uh, you know, with Eddie playing as he's playing right now, with Oba Femi, you know, coming in, I think that's three goals in three games now for him. Uh, you know, you know, we're, we're a handful up front. You know, if you're center backs, you know, if you lose sight of our forwards for a second, they're going to be running behind you. And, uh, you know, that's what we expected when we signed Obafemi, you know, to combine him with the players that we had. And we know that teams like to push their outside backs forward and, and they leave themselves 2v2 sometimes. And, and we feel that we have forwards who can definitely exploit that. That's not a guy that you probably have in there for his offense, but he seemed to impact the offense a lot tonight. Can you talk about what he did there? Brad's always part of our offense just because, you know, his instincts are pretty good. You know, if anything, sometimes I try to rein him back a little bit because he wants to get forward a little too much or run too much. And, uh, you know, we still need him back there helping us defend. But, you know, I think tonight he ended up playing right midfield, left midfield, a little bit of left back for a while, uh, you know, a little bit of center midfield. Uh, you know, when Ozzy went out. So, you know, he's done different things for us and he got two, you know, two good assists tonight. Uh, so I was very pleased with his game. So your thoughts on the other one? I noticed that he was, he had a really good press up one time, but then got, got caught up. And then I saw him switching Bob back and forth with Gonzalez in the first half, taking the left defense. Yeah, Yedlin, uh, I thought, played well. You know, I, I thought he did a good job at right back. And, uh, you know, I mean, he's, he's still a young player. You know, I talked to him about one thing at the end of the game where I thought he could have done something a little better. But overall, you know, he does, he does far more things right than he does wrong. And uh, his speed and his uh, enthusiasm on the field are big pluses for us as an ability to come forward with the ball and carry the ball forward. I mean, you know, all of a sudden one step and he's passed three guys. So, uh, you know, he's, de he's definitely added something to our team. It's a combination of everything. You know, we've really emphasized, you know, over the weeks now that we've gotten them out there, it's that they really look for each other and combine with each other. And, uh, you know, I think uh, our forwards are, are running off of each other really well. You know, so when you see Nagel and Eddie up front, you know, they're playing combinations off of each other. One's showing, one's going. And then you know the other one's getting back in there if the ball goes past him. And same thing when Oba comes in. So the two forwards playing off each other, our defense knows that they're going to run and that they're going to, you know, so our defense now, I think Leo Gonzalez in the first half did a great job of stretching the Dallas defense and playing balls in behind. And, and the forwards are like, oh, he's making us run all the time now. But, but it's good because he, they know he's going to serve the ball. He knows that the forwards are going to run, that they're not always going to show. And, uh, you know, when we can stretch teams like that, then, uh, then our offense is very dangerous. So that was a matter of going around their midfielders or just um, bad um, plays by their central defenders on your goals? No, it's just, it's just a matter of stretching their defense because their outside backs like to get tight to our wide guys because they like to be aggressive and they like to hold a flat line in the back. So, so then when you can play balls and you can stretch your defense and you've got players of the speed of the guys that we have up front, uh, it definitely freezes, freezes the central defenders. And if you make a mistake, you misplay a ball, uh, then all of a sudden we're in behind. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Is that a pass they asked me to do an ad and I thought, cool. They want me because I play for the Seattle Sounders. Then I find out it's because my wife told them I'm a good dad, even better. For me, being a good father is much more important than soccer. So here's my message. Be a good parent. Stay involved with your kid's life. Do something with them, anything. Take a walk, read a book, maybe go see a Sounders game. We can make it better for our kids by staying involved and showing that we love them.